What if events went differently? What if Harry Osborn joined Venom in Spider-Man 3? What would have happened? What would have changed? Find out in today's fan fiction. We have to take a look back at the scene with Bernard and Harry Osborn. After Peter tried to convince Harry to join him, he ended up lashing out at him, telling him to get out. Now during this time, Harry was watching the TV showing Venom. Venom was already at the construction site holding MJ hostage. Now we can go two ways with our story here. One, Harry goes to the construction site and during the last minute he joins in on the fight but it leads to a three versus one or we go at this direction venom recruits harry just like recruiting the sandman this would mean harry would know of the plan and how to lure spider-man to the construction site and in our universe harry would hold mj hostage we are going to go with option two after Venom got the symbiote, he knew everything about Spider-Man. He learned the rivalry between Harry Osborn and Peter Parker, and he thought in this timeline, he would exploit that relationship by recruiting Harry Osborn and getting Peter to fight his friend to the death. He knew this was his weakness, and if he could get Harry on his side, he would be able to trick him, telling him that Peter did kill his father. And in Spider-Man 3, the black comic book, we are going to take those events into canon, where the symbiote unlocks all of the secrets for Eddie Brock, and where he ends up learning everything about Peter Parker. This helps Venom trick Harry into turning to his side. Venom, like our original timeline, would recruit Sandman, and Venom would tell Sandman he had one more thing that he had to do. Sandman would ask Venom what it was, and Venom would laugh, telling him just to meet him at the construction site. We cut to the Osborne resident's house. Harry would be staring into a mirror, thinking of his fight with Peter, and he would think to himself, maybe he was right. Maybe he did fail his father. Maybe he was a disappointment. He would keep thinking about that in his head and he would look into the mirror, but he would see Venom. He would quickly turn around, but nobody was there. Harry would scream, telling Peter if he was finally going to finish him off, and Venom's voice would echo in the room, and Harry would be circling the room, trying to look everywhere. He was terrified at what he saw, and he knew something wasn't right here. Venom would tell Harry he wasn't going to kill him or finish him off, but he would if he doesn't take this wonderful offer. He would say he was here to make a deal, and if he wants to let MJ live, Harry would scream where MJ was, and Venom would say she is safe for now, but not for long. Venom would say, you want to kill the spider, I want to kill the spider. Together, he wouldn't stand a chance against us, Gobby. Venom would say he knows what happened to Norman, and Peter lied about not killing his father. And Venom would appear from the darkness, and he would tell Harry if he wanted to learn the truth. Harry would tell Venom, what is he talking about? Venom would say it was all true, and that Peter used Norman's glider to stab and kill Norman Osborn. Venom would reveal his face, and the symbiote tendril would go off everywhere moving around it was Eddie Brock and Harry was shocked to see seeing the suit he didn't know what was going on and Eddie would tell Harry saying the suit has every memory of Peter Parker and it's now transferred into my mind he would say the power was limitless and that he could do anything just like Peter can do this is why Peter beat you because this suit makes you stronger and faster Harry would tell Eddie he doesn't believe him and Venom would start listing off old memories of Peter and Harry like the science fair trip or when Spider-Man saved him from Doc Ock. Harry would drop to the ground knowing it was true. Peter murdered his father. He would look at Venom kneeling on the ground and he would say that what does he have to do now? Venom would go on saying, well you did swear on your father's grave, Spider-Man would pay. So make him pay and join me. And he would extend his hand out and Harry would take it. Venom would tell Harry that he wanted him to quickly grab MJ and for him to use his glider to lure Spider-Man to the construction site and that they would take care of business from there. He would laugh and then Harry would look around and Venom was gone. He couldn't even believe it. Bernard would walk out of the shadows telling Harry that that man over there, whatever he was saying, the stuff wasn't true and he would try to convince Harry for one last ditch effort but Harry would smile and he would throw a pumpkin bomb killing Bernard. He would walk into the laboratory and see the equipment and he would look at a silver goblin mask and he would put it on. MJ would walk into the taxi like our original timeline but this time it was Harry and the Sandman. She would try to scream, but Sandman would cover her mouth and Harry would wink at her and they would drive off. Harry would open the trunk of the car and it would have all of his equipment in there with a silver goblin suit. MJ could see his glider and the pumpkin bombs in the background and she would try screaming at Harry, telling him he 
didn't need to do this and she would cry saying why he was doing this. Venom would come out of the shadows telling her not to worry and that her boyfriend was going to be here any minute now to save her. Venom would reveal the plan to MJ telling her that once Peter shows up they were going to reveal his secret to the world and kill him in front of her. She would tell Venom that he was stronger than them and that he would win because it was Peter. Venom would extend his hand out and the symbiote would crawl up his arm and he would slap her in the face and tie her up with two symbiote webs to her wrists. Harry would yell at Venom saying remember the deal don't hurt her we are only here for Peter and Venom would say of course. Like our original timeline the broadcast would report on the live message challenging Spider-Man to a fight and he would swing to Harry's but nobody was there. There would be a skeleton on the ground. He would cry and fall to the ground thinking Harry killed himself. He would scream no and he would look to see the TV screen and he could see that Venom and MJ were there. He knew what he had to do and he had to move fast if he wanted to save MJ. The crowd of people would cheer for Spider-Man. Spider-Man would swing to the construction site. He could see MJ had blood on her and she was tied up. Peter would yell to MJ but she wasn't saying anything. Spider-Man would be confused not knowing what was going to happen because he didn't know who Venom is yet or what he might be. Spider-Man would try to undo the symbiote web on one of her wrists, but Spider-Man would be sent back flying into a wall. Venom had kicked him into a concrete wall. He would be thrown into the wall and the wall would crack, breaking. He would try crawling up, but Venom would use a symbiote whip grabbing his leg and throwing him towards MJ. Venom would reveal himself and it was Eddie Brock. Peter would yell at Eddie, telling him that he had to get rid of the symbiote and Eddie would say that he likes being bad and that Peter was going to die tonight. Peter would get up ready to fight but from the sky he would see somebody and it was the goblin but it, he looked different he didn't know what it was spider-man was confused but he was hit back by sandman and venom would catch him choke slamming him into the ground the goblin would land the glider and walk towards spider-man he would use his sword and slash spider-man in the chest and he would kick him to the ground he would take his mask off and it was harry osborne spider-man would be shocked and he would say why harry and harry would tell peter he knows everything and now he's going to die he would move his sword in the air ready to kill spider-man but spider-man in time would do a backflip and he would use his webs to grab the sword out of his hands and he would kick him in the face he would be launched to the ground sandman would use one of his fists but spider-man would use his webs throwing harry directly into the attack and harry would be flying thrown into the ground again spider-man would swing in trying to kick venom but venom would dodge the attack lashing him in the leg spider-man would fall to the ground and he would roll off of the construction site fall Falling towards the webs, Venom would web his hands up kind of like the original timeline and he would take his mask off, telling Peter that he took his girl and now it's time to take his. Harry would slowly get back up seeing his goblin mask on the ground. MJ would wake up seeing Harry and she would tell Harry it didn't have to end like this and that he could still come back. He would tell her it was all Peter's fault and that he had to get his revenge for his father and that it was too late for him. She would beg for him, telling that it was the goblin doing this and that it wasn't his fault. Venom would look to see Harry starting to get up and Venom would tell Peter to keep watching and Venom would jump up using the symbiote to grab Harry's sword. Venom ordered Sandman to finish the job off and Sandman would jump towards the webs and start punching Spider-Man over and over again like the original timeline and he would become huge. Harry would tell Venom Spider-Man was his and that he didn't want Flint to have all the fun. Venom would look at Harry and he would tell Harry that they won, it was over. Venom would say, now for one last trick, and he would point the sword at MJ and she would scream. Harry would use a pumpkin bomb saying that he was right and he would throw it at Venom and Harry's glider would charge at Venom, stabbing Venom in the gut. It would explode in the air and the explosion would destroy the net of webs that Peter and Sandman were in and Sandman would be completely done and Peter would be free falling. The symbiote in the air would catch Peter and he would fall to the ground. He was knocked out and Sandman was incinerated. He was done for. Harry would pick up the sword cutting MJ free saying it was over and that Peter was no more. She would cry telling Harry he was a monster and she would hit and kick him but Harry would take her by the hair throwing her and just as this was about to happen Spider-Man in the symbiote suit would yell telling Harry to let her go. Harry would grab her and he would have a pumpkin bomb in his hand and he would tell Spider-Man if he comes any 
closer, everybody was going to go boom. Peter would yell at Harry, telling him he knows what Eddie told him, but it wasn't true. He would tell Harry it didn't have to end like this and that everybody could live. Harry would break down crying, saying he was a liar and that the Green Goblin had taken him over. Peter would again tell Harry to let her go and he would agree. He would say catch and he would throw a pumpkin bomb at Peter and MJ would be thrown off the building. MJ would fall but would be saved at the last second by the Sandman. She would look at him and he would look, saying that he was going to end this. Back on top of the construction site, the symbiote would help Peter from the blast and it would be completely burned off. Spider-Man's suit was almost completely destroyed. Harry would walk towards Peter and he would say that he didn't want to do this. It didn't have to end like this, Pete, but I had no choice. I had to get rid of her. She was like a poison to us, trying to turn each other against us. Peter would slowly get back up and Harry would scream, saying she died, Peter. She's dead. He would say, now, so are we. He would pick up a pumpkin bomb and Sandman would try to get there in time and he would yell, telling them to stop. But Peter, in a rage, would get into a wrist lock with Harry and the pumpkin bomb would drop to the ground. Peter would break Harry's hands and he would scream and he would fall to the ground. Peter would look at Harry screaming and Harry would kick the pumpkin bomb at him and Sandman would try his best to save Harry Osborn at the last second, but the bomb would go off exploding. Harry would be sent flying and he would be crawling and crying. He would have a burned up suit and half of it would be melted into his skin. Spider-Man would be lying on the ground almost defeated. His costume would be ripped up with blood stains everywhere. Spider-Man would crawl using a nearby wall to stand up. He would look around seeing Harry and he would check to see if he was still alive, if he was breathing. Peter would look around and see Sandman and Sandman would tell Spider-Man that he didn't have to do this. It didn't have to end up like this. Peter would see a little bit of the symbiote moving around and he knew he didn't want to do this but he had no choice. He had to try to save Harry. He would put it on his hand from the broken glider and the symbiote would crawl onto him. He would put the symbiote on Harry and as Harry was knocked out, it would almost be like a dream sequence kind of like a memory thing and the symbiote would show him the complete truth and all of the memories what happened on that day when Norman Osborn died. He could see his father really did kill himself and the symbiote would try to consume Harry but in time Peter would take it back and he would throw it off the building finally finishing the symbiote off. He would pick up Harry and Sandman would tell Peter the truth about Uncle Ben and what happened that day and they would forgive each other and Peter would walk towards MJ and the crowd of people. They would take Harry to a a hospital and the world would see who Spider-Man really was. They would take pictures of him and J. Jonah Jameson would almost have a heart attack. Harry Osborn would recover in the hospital and Peter would hide out because of the public eye, but he would get back together with MJ and continue to be Spider-Man. Harry would forgive Peter for everything that happened and maybe one day they could be friends again. The symbiote was gone and it was destroyed and that is what happened and what if Harry Osborn joined Venom during Spider-Man 3? Let me me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this fan fiction and if you guys did enjoy this video do make sure to subscribe like share and turn your notifications on so you and your friends are all up to date with the latest content but anyways as always guys have a fantastic day peace out